Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Alvin. And Latina. Shout out to the All Star. She see you, I see you, we see you. Let's go. So we got a comment this morning that Drama Alert has gone off on Erica Castell about this whole Jake Paul phase bank situation. I gotta see this. Um, I'm so interested. Let's go. What is up, Drum Alert Nation? I'm What's your up? host, Killer Keemstar. Let's go right into the news. Let me start off this video by saying I do not believe Team 10. Team 10 uploaded a video. You all know this, wow. but just real quick, they uploaded a video saying that FaZe Banks clotheslined their assistant put her in a chokehold and dragged her through the club. I do not believe that this happened and you will see how confident I am that this did not take place at the end of the video. But first, the assistant of Jake Paul known as Megs uploaded proof that the bruises on her neck are real. Roll it. Uh, I believe that some of you don't think that this is real which i've believed things that are not true also so um i'm just gonna set some things straight for everyone um this is a makeup wipe that i used last night to take off mascara and eyeshadow they work really well i use them almost every single night for a basic exfoliating facial cleansing products so basically I'm just gonna use it like how I would use to make taking off makeup. And what do you guys think? Good video, very convincing. However, many females have tweeted me on Twitter that this could possibly be fake meaning that it could still be makeup because not all makeup can easily be removed by a makeup remover. Now, just so you know, I'm not a makeup expert. I don't know, but a lot of people are claiming that this still could be fake and there might not be bruises there. But let's say that there are bruises on her neck. Let's say it is a bruise. Did it come from FaZe Banks? I, 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 I just don't think so because we found a tweet from Mags that she doesn't want you to see. Back on June 23rd, she tweeted out, I constantly have 10 to five mysterious bruises. Oh shit! Now when the Drum Alert News team found this tweet and sent it to me, I quoted the tweet and I said this, as I said, I'm going 110% now, no holding back. And if you look close, the tweet is no longer there. And this is why I said she doesn't want you to see this tweet because she deleted it. I followed up with a screenshot of me quoting the tweet saying, haha, she deleted the tweet. Now, as I said before, I believe that Team 10 faked this. I believe that Team 10 made up this story so they could attack banks for multiple different reasons and for views and for attention. And because I think it's fake, I've been making a lot of jokes about it on Twitter. I tweeted out, well, at least we know Banks' finishing move. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I also tweeted out, the Banks' clothesline and dragged me collection coming this fall. Oh my. Yes, I am laughing at my own jokes. Like, I think legitimately this shit is funny. Security footage of Banks choking me in the club. And it starts off with a scene from the club and then, you know, it, it shows me putting a fake bruise on my neck with makeup. Again, I think these <laughs> tweets are hilarious, and the reason why I think it's funny is because I do not believe Team 10. I do not believe Jake Paul's assistant. I don't believe that FaZe Banks assaulted Jake Paul's assistant. I don't believe it. And that's why making these jokes is funny to me. And it's not just funny to me. I see all of you guys on Twitter retweeting my tweets and laughing your ass off in the comments. Well, one person who doesn't think this is funny at all, 
one person who thinks that I'm a horrible, horrible person is Jake Paul's girlfriend, known as Erica Costell. Today, she uploaded a video titled, My Response. And in her response, she goes after me hard. Roll it. I have personally dealt with assault before from seeing it firsthand and being from part of it, the fact that you think it's okay to put these out to your audience and this is what you're portraying. You are a part of the statistic that makes women scared to come forward and talk about their abuse. You owe everyone an apology and anybody else who thinks that it's okay to make light on these situations, to make fun of people, to harass people, to target people, you shouldn't be on the internet. Wow, she is really, really going after me. Oh my God, look at me. I, I, I'm making it difficult for women experiencing real abuse to come forward and tell their stories because of my jokes. Listen, bitch, you know what's making it difficult for women to come forth and tell their stories is when you make this fake fucking publicity stunt for views and for attention to just attack someone that is your enemy. That's what makes it hard for them to be taken serious. With f every false allegation makes it so much harder for women experiencing real abuse to come forward. I believe that you are an evil, manipulative person because right after you said that, you started showing numbers on the screen. Guys, if you're experiencing real abuse, call these numbers. Look, look, I'm putting numbers on the screen. It's a hotline. It shows that I'm a good person. Watch this fucking manipulation. Roll it. Right here, I'm going to flash up a hotline number on the screen. If you are someone dealing with abuse or violence or anything like that and you need help or you need someone to call, please, like, use these numbers. Come forward. Do not allow anything bad to happen to yourself. Erica, if you putting a number to a hotline makes you a good person, then bam, right back at you. Bam, 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 right back at you, bitch. <sighs> Let me calm down for a minute. Let me calm down. Cut the music. Erica, I am very, very confident that FaZe Banks did not go and clothesline your assistant Megs. He didn't put her in a chokehold and he didn't drag her in the club. I'm very, very confident, and I will continue to make jokes about it until I'm proven otherwise. But how confident are you? How confident are you that this took place? How confident are you to sit there and say that I'm making fun of abuse? How confident? I want to see how confident you are that this is real and that this really took place. So, I have a challenge for you. I will give you 30 days, 30 days to show security footage of banks doing exactly what you guys claimed, putting Megs in a chokehold, clotheslining her, dragging her in the club. You have 30 days to show that footage, all right? And if you show that footage, you would be right that I have been making jokes about real abuse and not about false abuse. If you show that footage, I will leave YouTube forever. This channel will no longer exist. I will no longer be on this platform. This is how confident I am. But if you do not, if you do not have security footage of this happening exactly the way you claimed in Jake Paul's video, then you must leave YouTube forever. This is the challenge that I'm putting forth. Now, if you don't accept this challenge with me right now, you are telling every single person seeing this video and every single person in Team 10, all the fans, everyone, that you're not really that goddamn confident, are you? And if you're not that confident, you shouldn't be coming at me saying that I'm making jokes about abuse. But if you make this deal with me, then you are that confident. Then you have every right to, 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 to claim that I'm making jokes about abuse because you really believe it. I want to know, and we want to know, if you really believe that this thing happened. If you really believe that this is the truth, then put your career on the line because I believe it's false and I'm putting my career on the line. You have 30 days to show security footage of phase banks, choke lining mags, putting her in a headlock and dragging her in the club. If we don't see it, I want you to leave YouTube. And if we do see it, then I will leave. Let's see what you got, snake bitch. <laughs>
Oh my gosh. He is upset. I it, would be too, though. It's not okay to joke about abuse when, like he said, women are experiencing this and you're making it hard for them. And he's not joking about abuse. He's joking about the fact the that you joke. guys are saying that this happened. Like, the, this is how ridiculous this is. He's he's showing you this is how ridiculous this he's is. He's not making fun of abuse at all. And he's right. When women are lying about things, and it has happened. There has been two athletes that have lost scholarships in college or lost their jobs because these women are out here claiming that they've been raped or abused by these men, and it's not true. It all comes out to be not true. One guy ended up, I don't know if this is what you're referring to, he was uh, locked up, he did prison time. Yeah. He had lost his scholarship, and they found out after she admitted it that it was all a lie. Like, it's not okay for you to lie about things like you that. That is what makes life. it hard for people to say that it's really happened. But what I want to know, I believe you're only 23. Who have you been abused by? Who have you been assaulted by? Well, I know if anything Alyssa is saying is true as far as the violet goes. She's saying that... She said that Erica was abused by him too like he was spitting on her hitting her doing everything he did to her to, to erica everything he did to Alyssa. to Alyssa to erica so and that's just who, who who approved this video being posted because you just let it be known that anything that she said could possibly be very true and you're staying you're you're defending it and you're putting up this number and you don't even use it. Right. Like, you're allowing it. You're encouraging it. If anything, you're telling... The world. That it's okay. I just think that this whole situation... Just another thing. So, FaZe Banks posted that uh, Jake came to him and said, I just want to squash everything. Now, that is good. That's good if that's what happened. If you really want to cut the drama then that's good but you want to cut the drama now now is the time where you should really be making sure that you keep no contact with phase no contact with rice you should just cut everything off and go forward with trying to prove that he did this not trying to make amends with him so that he can agree to not say anything because that's what's going to end up happening it's almost like man I, it's okay we're good Let's just forget about it. Let's just call it good. After you've lied on me and said that I've done all this stuff that I didn't do, you want, I mean, Face has no choice but to say, okay, yeah, I, we good, but he's already admitted that he's still gonna go forth and find this video to make, to clear his name, to make sure that the world knows that he didn't do this, which he should. But that just seems a little sketchy to me that you, put this out here and then once the, once everybody starts seeing that you lied now okay let's let's work but good. even with that being said that was before this video of whatever her name is they got the bruise on her neck she put that out then you got erica who just put that video out right. so this is all after jake just so says, even even after he's trying to make a, amends there's... you got your people still in the background trying to prove a point trying to make this true which if it's not true and you know it's not true and you already made amends with with uh face it's like why are you're they slapping face in a face right why and why are you allowing it why are you allowing them to do that now i understand meg wants to make a point to viewers who are saying that it can't be real but if again if you're you're the assistant if your boss has said we're you know we're done with this we're cooling it off we're not going to talk about it anymore as an assistant you shouldn't be picking up a camera you already know you're, you're the one trying to pass his message to all the other right. employees you're, this this whole team 10 house is out of organization like it's it's a uh, unorganized it's it's just not making it's any sense organized. yeah it's just it's as weird as that sentence was that's that's how crazy <laughs> Team Ten is. The way that sentence was put together <laughs> is how Team Ten household is becoming. And I kind of feel like 
drama alert might have some information that nobody knows about. No, he presented it. He just seen that. And it is kind of funny how when he made that comment on Twitter on her post that she's got yeah you're going to delete ten, it you're going to delete it it's like if you if you are having these issues why would you delete that right if it's true which what? it is true but my thing is they played off of you randomly getting bruises all the time if that's a real bruise that's what they played off of if it's not a real bruise I believe the women who are saying that it could still be makeup because expensive makeup does not come off with a makeup wipe or a remover wipe. You have to actually try to get that stuff off, like miracle and I mean, water. If they, if they were out that night, right? And he, the guy who, mysterious guy who did spend $4,000, well, they were drinking too. Right. And if FaZe couldn't remember, how many people within Team Team can't right. remember? Right. If you were out, and you had to have been say, drinking. Who's to say that those bruises are, are are truly real, but just from a different circumstance? Right. You could have fell or you could have hit your neck on something. And having the same problem FaZe had, where he can't remember. remember. And they just said, oh, yeah, this is what happened. And this Max person... Is that his name? Yeah. That was part of Team yeah. Ten feeding them. Where is he at? Why is nobody questioning him? Why is this? Why is he not a concern? Because you know, if if and this is a huge if, if he drugged Faze, there's a possibility that she could have accidentally picked up that drink or picked up something that was meant for Faze, and th it. things just went wrong. And they decided to turn it into he abused her or assaulted her instead of what it actually was. There's so many ways that this night could have went that you guys should have taken a little more time to talk about it and ask her questions and figure out what could have actually happened. You should have went to the club and asked to see the security footage before you put this video out. I don't think Faye should let it go. I don't think he should and I don't think he is, but... I definitely think he should for even if it's just for himself find out what happened because he's he's saying that he doesn't remember so if you don't remember even for yourself even if you never put it out there for yourself find out what happened okay. <laughs> husband's got a day job <laughs> but yeah I just feel like this story is nowhere near over unfortunately and I said it before it got to this point that it should have been stopped it could have been stopped and it just wasn't so honestly team 10 deserves what's coming for them because you weren't being responsible yeah so it I just think he should continue this and just pursue it if if it's not for the world to see, but for his own knowledge, I think he knows himself, and I think he knows he did not. He absolutely did not do this. I think he knows. I, I mean, Faze did not. I know Faze know himself, and I know Faze just like he said. I drank too many times, and to not. and not get drunk to for, for it to randomly happen like that. I'm just saying. Faye seemed like a good dude and a person who understands himself. So, yeah, it's it's that's not cool. Fake abuse is not cool when yeah, so many to, women to are really actually it. getting it done to them. But I mean, let us know what you guys are thinking in the comment section. Please keep the vulgar comments away from us. Don't I mean, if you don't agree, you can say you don't agree, but. To Leave it at you don't agree and why you, you don't, don't agree. Kill us right. That's you're no better than who you're defending. So you're not proving that they're right. You're just proving that they're wrong and you are too. So Okay. But if you guys like this video, let us know, you know with a thumbs, thumbs up. up. If you're not subscribed to our channel, go, go ahead, ahead and hit, hit that, that button. button. We, we love, love you all so much for so watching much. and Thank we will you. see you in the next one. Or a thousand.